when a body is uh, when a deformable body is removed by a force, uh, there will be stress and strains on the body, and so will cause uh, the body to deform and energy to be uh, stored inside the body. This will be stored as a potential energy. It will be stored as potential energy in the body. So um, it is also called as strain energy, strain energy, or the total internal energy, or the elastic strain energy. So we have seen that the stress and strain are related for any given object or any definition of stress and strain. Stress and strains are related. So the energy can be expressed either in terms of stress or strain as we have seen uh, in the earlier case. So um, stresses and strain are related and they are uh, they may change with respect to a particular point. So stresses and strains are a uh, or the total energy the stress and strain may change with respect to a particular point, hence the uh, strain energy may also change with respect to point. Thus, the strain energy is also a function of the location and the temperature and the strains. Okay, so this we have represented as equation A. Equation B is a given equation that is the change in internal energy, which is uh, represented in terms of both stress and strain. So, it is given. Assume that it is given. So, next is we take equation A and we look at the change in internal energy with respect to the change in strains. So we assume that we are given a point and at a particular temperature, we want to know how, how the internal energy changes. So this is how the internal energy will change. This is just a mathematical representation of how the internal energy will change with respect to the gradients of each term. So comparing uh, equation B and equation C, we can see how the strains can the stresses can be defined in terms of the strains and internal energy. So this is for the whole uh, stress tensor. So we have all the terms of the stress tensor and how they are related to the corresponding strains. So if we um, reduce our or if we restrict our uh, consideration to a one-dimensional domain, suppose we are given up at a, uh, at a given point and a particular temperature we have a we only need to consider a single dimensional uh, system then we will have sigma x is equal to d strain energy by the strain divided by g in strain so that's what we have here so we have we are considering a single dimensional loading system uh, that's the strain is here axial loading in which the stress is represented as a function of internal energy and strain in this fashion. So remember that we are looking at a given point and at a given temperature. So uh, from this equation, we can just integrate uh, to find the total strain energy. This will give the total strain energy. So you can see that this is just uh, what do you call? This is just an equation of area. Okay, this is uh, area under the curve. If we have a relationship between stress and strain, sigma and strain, we can obviously uh, draw a curve. So if we have a curve like this, the area under the curve is given by u0. That's what this equation represents. So suppose we uh, look at this rectangle then we have the what is a 0 0 0 comma epsilon sigma comma 0 and sigma comma epsilon the total area under this uh, rectangle is or uh, yeah, rectangle is sigma epsilon so we have a portion u0 we have the whole area this is given by sigma x sigma epsilon so sigma epsilon minus u0 would give us something this something is called as a complementary strain energy as we have seen here. So the complementary strain energy, complementary strain energy density is here considered per unit volume. 
so if we uh, go back we have seen e0 on the string image is representing the sigma integral over sigma d epsilon thus the complementary string energy is given as c0 is equal to integral over epsilon d sigma or epsilon or the string is related to the complementary string energy and stress so for a linear elastic material that is dropping properly for a linear elastic material we get the stress and strain vary in a straight line this is for any abrasive for stress and strain vary in a straight line this area that is u0 this area which is c0 both will be the same that is for linear elastic material c0 is equal to u0 that's all.